right, so I'm going to do another makeup tutorial for you today. And this is a look that I love. Uh, it's just going to be a really strong brow and then a dark lip. I'm going to hopefully use something sparkly on the lip. I've got a little barium dazzle dust that I might put on. But first of all, I'm just going to put my foundation on. So this look doesn't have a particular skin, like a bronzed up skin or anything. It's just whatever suits your skin so I'm just using my Chanel that I like to use in number 10 okay so next on to creating our strong brow I'm just going to fill my brows in to create a strong brow with my collection 2000 eyebrow pencil in 3 Blonde. I might run a bit of a black eyeliner through the um, eyebrow as well just to make it darker. Anyway, put in your bottom line and then your top one and then fill in in between. I would like to use an eyeshadow for this, but I don't have an angled brush with me, which is a pain. Okay, there's one. I might just put a bit of MAC Smolder Eye Coal through it to darken it up a little bit. I know this isn't going to be obviously the same colour as my hair, but that's kind of the point with this look. It's going to be a dark and strong brow soften it and make it a little bit unruly and that'll do for one brow move on to the next one okay so that's our brow done our strong brow on the eye there's not going to be a lot because this is obviously an eye, a look about just the eyebrows and the lips so I'm going to take the orangey colour here I'm going to take the orangey colour here and just put that on the eye with my finger up to the crease just to give a little bit of colour so that's it really, just a wash of colour just for something on the eyes any sort of antique orangey rusty colour would be fantastic or equally nothing on the eyes. Curl lashes and put mascara on. So lots and lots of mascara on the top lashes and just a lip on the bottom. Okay, so just a tiny bit on the bottom. I'm just going to contour the cheeks a tiny bit using Sculpt. This will really complement the eye. The colours match pretty beautifully. Just really creating a cheekbone. You can blend that with a big powder brush or with your foundation brush. Okay, on to the next feature of the face 
the lips and I'm going to use again the <laughs> same pencil again Natural Collection Lip Liner in Plum I'm going to put in quite a point on this lip I'm just going to fill the lip in as well with the liner. Which should give us a really a really fantastic base for lipstick. Okay, so that's quite a cool colour anyway. Um, again, the same colour from my vampy smoky eye makeup tutorial. This is number 124 or Bordeaux from Rimmel. I'm just going to fill that in. This lipstick smells so nice. Okay, so once that is done, um, ideally you perhaps want a clear gloss to go over this, but I'm going to take Gemma Kid Makeup School uh, High Shine Silk Touch Lip Gloss in number 8, or Fuchsia, and take that over the top. Just put a bit of pink back in. Okay, so once your gloss is on, this is optional this bit, I'm just going to try this bit out, see how it looks. This is number 18, Barry M Dazzle Dust. There we go. Oh, it's a fine glitter dust, not the Dazzle Dust. So number 18, if I can maybe show you. Ooh, it's coming out everywhere. So on a ooh, MAC 239, I'm just going to push this over the top. So I'm just going to show you the look with even darker brows, which I think would look great. Just put in some more smolder through the eyebrows. This is definitely not the perfect product for eyebrows. It's really super duper soft. Okay guys, well, I hope this look was kind of fun for you. I always love a strong brow, um, perhaps not this dark with my hair, but um, I don't know, it's just a fun one. So thanks for watching and see you again soon, bye! Hi everyone, so after I turned the camera off I had a little bit of a play and I came up with this look. Mmm. This is just me being very stupid. It doesn't look very good at all, and I'm gonna go wash my face.